Now, there was a very nice question asked from the community about uh, counting the number of issues assigned to a specific user to whom you are trying to basically assign an issue. Now, this question was asked uh, by someone. I will not try to pronounce this name, but uh, the question is all about is there any possibility to basically find out or basically uh, make sure that whenever you assign the issue to someone, you get some kind of uh, notification where you can find out easily how many issues are already assigned to that particular user. Now, this was basically, uh, I mean, if you look at the question, the but the person who asked this question is actually trying to use some kind of a smart value to f to basically count the number of issues. And uh, I really find this uh, interesting way to handle the cases where you want to maybe uh, make sure that your team members are not over allocated. So there is no way in Jira to, to basically stop assigning issues to someone. I mean, you can definitely assign an issue to someone. Now, it is up to you how you want to balance the workload. Using automation, you can still do few things and I thought I'll probably share what you can do. Now, first of all, if you look at this rule, what I did in this rule, whenever you assign the issue to someone, this rule will uh, will do something. So, I'm, I'm making sure that this trigger is uh, issue assigned and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to basically perform a lookup issues. So there is, uh, if you if you look at the ad component, there is one action called uh, lookup issues. So basically you can search for issues uh, using uh, jQL. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm uh, trying to run this jQL where I'm using a smart value which is basically finding all the issues assigned to the user that was just made the assignee of that particular issue. And I'm also adding one more query here where I'm basically trying to find only the issues that are not, that are basically unresolved, basically where resolution is maybe not done or not resolved. And this query will get to you, of course, 10, 20, whatever number of issues. For example, if you go to your issue navigator and if you search for uh, some um, users issues that are assigned to that user, let let me go to the let me let me try to open uh, this in a separate window so that, so that I can show you what I mean. So the good thing about this uh, lookup issue is that you can use uh, smart values. So if you want to use smart values uh, where you want to do something with the assignee. You can do something like issue dot assignee, and uh, you have to use the account ID dot account ID to get the account ID basically. And uh, this will be a dynamic JQL, so it will be run for the assignee that you will uh, choose when you are you're, when you are basically making someone as the assignee of the issue. Now, if I go to my issue navigator, I can uh, do few things. Uh, wh what I want to do is I want to show you and validate the output of this uh, jql so let us copy this jql as it is and uh, let us paste it in the issue navigator so of course when you are in the issue navigator you have to use actual value so what i'll do i'll try to find the issues that are assigned to admin so admin is one user in my jira instance and as you can see the moment i did this the, the moment I used uh, I used the uh, username, it converted it to the account ID. So you can see here right now we have four issues assigned to admin uh, with the resolution of course not resolved. And I can do the same thing for maybe me. So I can do something like current user, which I believe is uh, this. I can do this. So right now I, I have 12 issues assigned to me. And uh, I'll probably use my name just to be clear. <laughs> so I, I can also show you when I go to my 
rule. So we have four issues and 12 issues, four issues assigned to admin, 12 issues assigned to me, Ravi Sagar. And of course, we are only talking about uh, issues with resolution not resolved, unresolved. So if you, if you go back to the rule, to fetch those issues, issues returned by the JQL, you can use this uh, this smart value, which is uh, called as lookup issues. Now this is of course a list. You will get a list of issues. And you can basically do anything you want with the list of issues. You can maybe add a comment or maybe you can uh, do something but I'm basically what I'm trying to do here is whenever you assign the issues to someone a comment will be added it will let you I mean you will be able to assign the issue to the user but you will also get a comment or you can also send this as a notification somewhere that this particular user already has n number of issues assigned so what I'm doing here in the uh, in the comment I'm uh, fetching the display name of the assignee the assignee who who was just assigned this issue and I'm adding a co simple comment like already has uh, lookup issues dot size. So all I'm doing is I'm ju just displaying the count of uh, unresolved issues. So when you when you look at how this uh, rule works, you can of course go to maybe any issue. So let us go to maybe uh, BT39, whatever. I mean, I'm just trying to show you how it works. So this issue is of course assigned to someone, but I'll probably assign it to maybe uh, admin. So I can select here admin. And uh, once you do that, you can go back to your rule and you can maybe take a look at the audit audit log. So it says success. So it did something, which is a good thing. And uh, I may want to now take a look at uh, the comment. So I'll refresh this uh, issue. And hopefully, it, hopefully it will uh, add a comment for you to take a look at. And let us see. So it says uh, admin already has five issues uh, unresolved. So I believe it has also counted this current issue. Maybe you can do minus one. Let us assign the issue back to me, which is uh, Ravi Saga. And uh, let me take a look at the audit log. I'll just do a refresh. Yep, the rule ran. So I'll go back to the issue, I'll refresh and uh, we can see here, no, not yet, not yet. I think uh, I just did this a bit too quickly. So I'll just uh, refresh it again. And uh, let us see, not yet. I, th I think uh, there was something wrong. Let me just take a look at the issue here. So it says no comment was... Uh, Okay, so I think uh, there was no comment added because uh, since the comment, since the issue was already commented before. So maybe I'll go to a different, uh, different uh, rule, different issue, sorry. So let us go to BT38. And uh, I, I think you, you can always modify the rule slightly. So let, let us assign the issue. I think we just need to do, we just need to assign the issue to, uh, to someone for this rule to be active. So I'll just do a refresh. So now it says that Ravi Sagar already has 13 issues, 13 assigned unresolved issues. So as you can see here, this rule worked. And uh, it is probably not um, like you are avoiding the assignment, it will let you assign, it will let you do something. But uh, you can basically uh, let yourself know, or send someone an email. So, so you are giving yourself a chance to to make sure that this user has maybe 10 issues or 20 issues. You can also limit it to a specific project uh, in case you know that you, you have a team of five people and they're working on five projects maybe or maybe two projects or one project. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you, you already have some information about their allocation. And based on this number, you can take some informed decision. There is also one more thing that you can do. Uh, using, uh, I'm of course talking about the assignment. If you took, take a look at a new action, there should be something called as uh, assign issue. If you click on assign issue, you can then select a user in a group, for example. And using automation, you can also do assignment automatically. So let us say, I, I'm just showing showing you the action part. How you trigger it is up to you. So basically, 
if you want to assign the issue to uh, maybe a group, to, to maybe users in a group based on maybe balanced workload. So basically you have three ways to assign, to make, to, to, to do the assignment. If you select balanced workload, I believe uh, automation will make sure that everyone in that group has roughly equal number of issues assigned. You can also do random in case that works, or you can also do round robin, uh, round robin, which is uh, something that will probably go in a loop. Uh, and uh, I have not really tried it yet, how it will work. I read the documentation, it, it looks okay, it looks uh, all right to me. And I think it can be a good way. But I'm personally uh, a bit careful in letting tool do the assignment because uh, even, even if you select balanced workload, it doesn't really mean, uh, I mean, when you have uh, multiple people in your team, not everyone has equal skill set. They all have uh, different skills. They all have different competencies. They all have uh, different in, different in interest. So we are not we are not really talking about their skills and I, I, I'm 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 talking about you know things that you were able to do using a life plan in a portfolio or I should say advanced roadmaps where you have where you had an option to control who can be assigned issues based on their uh, skills and. Uh, of course, there are other multiple factors. You can take a look at my portfolio advanced roadmaps videos. But all I'm trying to show you today is that it is possible to use automation to do the assignment for you. I am personally happy to be honest uh, with just uh, adding a comment. I think this is already a good information. If I get a comment added on the issue where I can see immediately that this user already has 13 issues assigned, Maybe it is a bit too much. Maybe it is beyond the, uh, uh, maybe you have some constraint on the number of issues, open issues that a person can work on. And uh, using automation, you can actually uh, get some help. You can actually get this count immediately af after doing something on the issue. Like, like in this case, uh, we added this comment by simply triggering the rule using the issue assignment, but it could be any trigger of your choice. And that is all I wanted to talk about uh, in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.